Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and thanks for joining in on this channel. Um, today we're going to go through a, a typical day with video recording. I'm going to show you guys some stuff that I bought. And we'll open up some packs, and we'll talk a little bit about different prices on things uh, for packs that I have in stock. And we might even go over that, the live that I did yesterday with Trey. That was kind of fun. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is this Charizard here. It's a Charizard Ash 2000 Pocket Monsters Japanese Bandai Anime Series 2, number 69. And from what the uh, listing said, it's a Pop 1, which is pretty cool. I mean, it didn't go for a crazy amount for a pop one but a lot of times that pop it really can refer directly to not just the population of how many have been graded like as in scarcity scarcity but it refers a lot of times to how popular that card is I mean this is something that's very niche you know for one it's not English it's Japanese and PSA has the majority of his gradings come through on you know the American side even though we're at least on in the English English language, I know the UK is getting some different grading things, but this is also you know it's pocket monster. It's like an anime collection. It's not like your typical set, even if it feels like Japanese, where it's still really high demand, like some a lot of the English stuff is. It's not a typical set. You know, it's this anime collection, Bandai, or whatever, and it's not one of the first years. It's not holographic. It's not even a single character card. It's a double character card. So there's a lot of things going on that make this card very uh, niche or I guess is some people say niche or whatever, um, but that's why I didn't. It's not like this crazy, super expensive card, even though it. it I assume it is pop one, like he said. Uh, I didn't look it up because it really doesn't matter to me. I realized that you know there's probably a lot of these out there that people could grade and they could get tens. It's not pop one because of scarcity. Now, if it was pop one because of scarcity and it was you know something that was really popular, then you know that's when you can see the crazy high prices. All right. Next up, we have this right here, and this is a Battle uh, Battle Road, I guess, Spring. I don't know, 2004 Japanese promo. This is the same one that you saw on the EX Dragon side, on uh, in with English with the the Secret Rare. I believe it was the number 100 out of, and then it was out of 97 cards. Then there was also the National Championship version, which for a while was actually cheaper than the regular version. Um, and then I think it was kind of brought to light by Scott's that you know this is one of those things that it should be pretty rare because you know it is one of the Charizards that has a scarcity element to it and it saw a significant increase in price. Now this one right here, um, I don't know much about this other than it's a Black Star promo. You can see right there number 002 PCG dash P. So I have no idea how many of these are out there. Um, I, I bought this I think for twelve hundred dollars and with this particular card, man, it actually showed delivered yesterday, signed off by someone who wasn't me into a city that was two hours away but DHL only does regional carrier scans uh, for the city and because the post office where I had it delivered is not a regional sorting facility it showed delivery uh, in Greensboro which was two hours away from where I'm at which is Hildebrand so that was kind of a, a little bit scary we're trying to go through the the seller he was really worried about it because I was like I didn't sign for it and I know most of the postal workers at <clears throat> Uh, my local post office so they, they'll sign off for packages for me and it just so happened to be the person who was working with this one was in training and she was in training with some of the other ones so they told her to go ahead and sign off for it but I didn't recognize the name so I was like that's not me and uh, th it was all cleared up once I went to the post office today though and this guy actually sent some free stuff with it he sent me a cool little sign card I'll stick that in a binder for those of you who are watching the live you actually got to see some of the sign cards that I have and I apologize uh, for the first half of that video the audio was like this high he was basically pulling the audio through his computer in another room with the door shut so I was surprised at all that you guys could hear anything but in the second half we do actually uh, he has the the audio changed over as for his for his phone as one of the inputs but this actually come as part of the protection for that Battle Road Charizard. Check it out. Got a little Charizard plate, and then we have a Starters plus Pikachu plate. I thought that was really neat. 7-Eleven. There should be all kinds of 7-Eleven uh, Pokemon products. I don't know if they still have them, right? It's, supposedly, I think I've heard that 7-Eleven is the largest gas retail chain in the world or something like that. I mean... I don't know how many years ago it was I heard that either, so that could easily change by now. Also, I'm going to show you guys a few more packs for updates. Uh, we do now have Heavy First Edition Neo Revelation. These are box fresh and um, 
The price on these is $18.95. Neo Discovery is $11.95 and Fossil is $7.75. So it's quite a bit of a drop from where we were. So if you're interested in some of these, do let me know. Remember, anytime we open up a heavy pack on this channel, it's guaranteed to have a hollow. So if for whatever reason I open this pack up, I weighed it wrong, I switched it out, you know, the the packs just had weird weights or whatever. If it doesn't have a hollow, you get another pack to replace it until you do get a hollow or you get a refund if there aren't any more. And I believe we do still have that one random Neo Revelation unlimited heavy pack and that one's like 9.95 and i wanted to bring up the team rocket japanese just for a minute uh I, I, we, pokey rev you know he's huge and he always he, he definitely deserves the premium that he gets i think they sold out at 325 or something like that per pack but remember these are still available at 275 been selling them a lot more steadily lately um but there are still some available and if you buy three or more you get them for 245 and then uh, the last thing I did want to mention is uh, starting off with this next pack that we're opening up. We're opening up a Fossil Unweighed Booster Pack. I am auctioning off some of these on eBay, but if you want to buy an art set of Fossil Booster Packs, you can get them for as low as $200 a piece, but you'd have to buy at least three, so you at least get an art set, one of each art. And uh, otherwise, they are two, uh, for the Fossils, $245, or if your Charizard, Charmeleon, Charmander level, you do get your standard discount. And then you might be able to get it for cheaper in auction, but the auction actually did pretty good. Um, on eBay, Zayad, I think he wanted for like $227 or something like that. He wanted me to open up his pack for him here on YouTube, which I don't normally do if you win on eBay, but it lined up really well uh, with some stuff, so I, I thought I'd go ahead and show his pack. Let's hope he gets a hollow. Ammonite, Psyduck, got the Horsey, Cloyster, Golem. That's always a good sign. It's a great card to pull. Gambler, I mean, it's not like super expensive or nothing, but I like seeing Golem. Geodude, Ekans, Tentacool, ah, oh, you got the Haunter. Well, Trey, it's better than your Magneton, but he did not pull the Hollow. I'm starting to wonder if this fossil box is starting to warm up, but thanks, Zayad, for letting us open up your pack here on the channel. We uh, did not pull a Hollow for you. Did get you a nice little Haunter, which in base set Haunter is an uncommon. And then we'll get make sure that stuff gets sleeved up right. Now, for the last three packs that we're going to open up, this is for Logan. You guys have seen him several times. He took a chance on these heavy gym challenge packs. Uh, these were uh, $495. And these are the, the lightest of the three, so we'll see how that goes. 20.81, 20.81, and 20.82. The lightest of the heavies or so, but I do have more heavy packs. I thought I brought them up here with me, but so if we end up opening up one of these and they don't have a hollow, I might send Trey down to go grab go grab some more. But hopefully they do. So we're down to nine heavy gym challenge packs after these. Alright, so we're gonna start off with the Meowth. Gonna star you warp point. There's an energy. Oh, it's the second card off the back. I forgot about that. All right, so there's your hollow. You got the Koga's Ditto. Let me put that one in there. I guess I should have known since I saw that. Well, no, the energy's supposed to be on the back. All right, so we'll look at that here again in a second. Let me go ahead and go through these. Sabrina's Ghastly, Transparent Walls. But now we know it's, those next ones should be the second card off the back. Got the Koga's Ninja Trick, Misty's Dugong, and Sabrina's Psychic Control. Alright, Koga's Ditto is usually pretty easy to grade because there's basically no hollow on it. I mean, see how big Ditto is? He's like taking up the whole picture. He's attacking the camera. Condition. Wow, that looks great. It's a really good condition. The the front, I would, the only thing I would say is the centering is off a little bit. I don't know if it's enough to detract away. If that centering is good, I, I would almost say the condition's close to a 10. I don't see if there was a lip there on that bottom, but I definitely don't see any scratches in the hollow. And I mean, those corners actually look really nice. Wow. So, congrats on that for the condition. Now, let's hope that uh, with these next packs, I don't spoil it so quickly. All right, so 20.81 again for this one. This is my last work week with Trey. Get a little sad. Yeah. <laughs> so we won't have him to liven around, liven things up as much anymore. 
Kogu's Pidgey, Erica's Jigglypuff, Blaine's Ponyta, Sabrina's Abra. Ooh, got the Blaine's Charmeleon. Best uncommon. Well, between that and the Ivasaur and the Bulbasaur, I mean, those three are just really nice. Koga's Kakuna. Then again, Missy's Tears. I mean, that's that's pretty popular too. Oh, you got the Giovanni's Persian. Super nice. This one, if it pulls a 10, yeah, it definitely brings the four figures. I tried winning a first edition Giovanni's Persian in auction, and I lost out. It was, the winning bid was like $5,000 or something. Oh, man. It looks like they're super light, like maybe tiny scratches right here, or print lines, but they are so light. There we go. You can kind of see that one a little bit better, but you really got to shine the light. I mean, if you're looking at this thing straight on, you really don't see it. Backside corner, good. Those are good. I think you have the ever so tiny white dot in this corner. But at that, you know, at that point, I'm like really straining to see it. Gosh, that hollow still looks so good. Giovanni's Persian is definitely a big pull if you can get the ten. If you don't get the ten, then it kind of fizzles down to like the same price as a lot of the other nines at that point and other cards. All right, one more pack to go. All right, Logan. Can you get the Zard? All right, we have the Erica's Jigglypuff again. Blaine's Ponyta. Lightning Energy. Maybe that means uh, we'll get a Rocket Zapdos. Giovanni's Magikarp, Koga's Tangela, Psyduck, Primate, Bellsprout, get the Giovanni's Machoke. Oh, it is a non hollow. All right. One more. So we have to get another pack. I'm going to pause it right there and go grab another pack to replace that one. All right, we're back. So we have the next 20.82 heavy. So this is the exact same weight as that last pack that was indeed a light pack. Get another chance, which I need to probably set those to the side because these will go back to the consignee. There we go. Make sure I'll mix those in. Blaine's Doe Duo, Sabrina's Abra. Got the Horsey and a Grass Energy. Blaine's Charmander, that's always a good one. Koga's Ekans and his Grimer and the Ninja Trick. Brock's Graveler, Giovanni's Meowth, and. Oh! Two whiffs in a oh. row. Misty's Wish. Misty's Wish is actually pretty decent rare. All right, so we're moving on to the next pack. Now, this one, we're jumping up to 20.85. This is why it can be hard to weigh, even if you have a full box. You know, those 20.81s, those both had a hollow in them. But then the 20.82s, you know, which were the, I guess, the 10th and the 9th heaviest pack, you know, they had non hollows. So I guess some of those light packs that, you know, were sent out, there might be some hollows in those. So right, here we go 20.85. Pack number five for the video. Got the Tangela, got the Psyduck, and a Water Energy. Maybe we'll get a Giovanni's Gyarados to match up that. Ooh, and a Psyduck, got two, two Psyducks, is it a Golduck? No. Yeah, there's a, there's a Golduck. Oh man, you got the Missy's Tears. So you got the Water Energy, the Sabrina Psyduck, the Missy Psyduck, and the Missy's Tears. Lieutenant Surge's Electrode, Blaine's Dodrio. Oh, the Rocket's Mewtwo. Three attacks. Oh, that's a good one. Man. Oh, there's I don't see anything in that hollow. Do you guys see any print lines? You can see it's got like a shortened picture. It's not as thick. That's because it has that third attack in there. Alright, backside, corner, corner. I'd say there's a little white dot there. I mean it's really small, but it's 
you can kind of make it out. Same thing right there. Really small, but you can see it. And that front, I mean, that looks great. I mean, it, the centering almost leads me to believe it's a different sheet as well, because that ditto was slightly to the right, where I had the thinner on the right side border, and the, the left side border was a little bit thicker, but this looks to be pretty well centered. So we had to go through two more packs that were uh, indeed lights before we got to it, but we finally got to your third hollow. Congrats to you, Logan. And I appreciate you letting us open up your packs here on the channel. I'm sure we'll see you around again. Thanks, guys, for watching.